With what's been currently happening with D&D and Wizards of the Coast and the OGL, you might be inclined to change the game system that you are using. Well, if you are using Foundry VTT and you want to learn how to install a different game system than D&D, this is the video for you. I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to install a new game system and create a new world with that game system. Hi, my name is Fondue. I run this channel called Dice and Easy where I give you foundry tutorials and tips and tricks, D&D and tabletop RPG industry commentary and daily tabletop RPG memes. So if that's something you're interested in, hit that like and subscribe button down there. But with that out of the way, let me show you how to install a new game system in Foundry VTT and create a new world with it. So let's get started then. So here we are in Foundry VTT at the moment. This is your landing page for Foundry where you have your game worlds. Now, in order to install a new game system, we are going to go to this tab over here, game systems. And down here you have the install system button. It's going to take a second for it to load all of the available packages. And here they are. All of the available packages are down here. Now, of course, if you have a specific package in mind, uh, scrolling through all of these is going to be quite cumbersome. So what you can do is up here, it says package name. Let's write Pathfinder, for example. And here we have Pathfinder first edition and Pathfinder second edition official. Now let's go for second edition Pathfinder this time. We hit the install button and boom. Pathfinder 2 was installed successfully. And now when we close this window, here we have Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Now if you ever want to update your games here, your systems here, you just go to this button here called Update All and it checks if there's anything to update. There wasn't anything in my case. Then we go back to the Game Worlds and now down here you have the Create World button. And when you are creating the world, we can call this uh, YouTube Video Test World. Here it is going to be asking you for the system. It's going to open a drop down menu for you where you're going to have all of your available systems that you have installed. So if you don't have the system here, that means that you did not install it correctly. So go back to the game systems tab and install it through there. So we're going to choose Pathfinder second edition and then create world. It's going to think for a while. And here now we have YouTube video test world system Pathfinder second edition. And if we want to launch that world, we just hit launch world and it will launch for us. Now, by default, when you create a new system, uh, there will be only one user called the game master and the user password is going to be left as blank. So you just put choose game master, leave it blank and then you'll get in. And once we get in here, it is going to load all of the world data. Of course, now there's not going to be anything much in there because I don't have uh, any data to go with it. So it's just going to think for a sec. And now we're in our game world. You can see here, everything is set up. The chat is over here. Of course, there's nothing here now. I've, I haven't set anything up, but now we have the Pathfinder 2 system here in place in Foundry VTT. Now you might be thinking, well, I already have a game world and I want to update that game world to use my new game system. For example, going from D&D 5th edition to Pathfinder 2nd edition. Unfortunately, that is not possible. Once you have created a game world, you cannot change the game system that that game world uses. So if you want to transition your game from one system to the other, you unfortunately are going to have to create a new game world with that system so that you can then switch over to that system. Unfortunately, that is how Foundry currently works. So you're just going to have to live with that. And in, on top of that, also, the systems are going to also use different statistics and whatnot for characters, monsters, etc. So you would have to transfer all of that over anyway it can be a little bit cumbersome but if you have maps and stuff and those are going to be in your your data for example on your foundry server you can still just find those in your foundry server and use those same maps etc from your data and there you have it that's how you install a new game system in foundry vtt and create a new world using that game system like i said unfortunately you can't update an existing world with a new game system but it is what it is but here is your tutorial so if you're looking to switch over from dnd to another system like Pathfinder within Foundry VTT, this is how you do it. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe. That really does help me out and helps my channel grow. I would really appreciate that. And on top of that, I stream every Monday and Wednesday on twitch.tv slash dice and easy. That is twitch.tv slash dice and easy link down there. 
at 6 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time, where I talk about D&D and the tabletop RPG industry, play video games, and have fun. So come and join me there and talk with me. It would be very great to see you over on that side of things as well. And hey, thank you very much for this video and for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.